Hello friends and welcome to another session of English Literature. So friends, as you can see in the screen that today's topic of discussion is about Cavalier Poets. So in this video you will get to know about who are the Cavalier Poets, why are the Corso, the name of the Cavalier Poets and the characteristics of their poetry. So let's start the discussion. So at first we have to know that who are the Cavalier Poets. So Cavalier Poets who were a group of English gentlemen poets of the 17th century who gathered at the court of Charles I. Because of the loyalty and support for Charles I, these poets were called Cavalier Poets. Charles I was a connoisseur of the fine arts and he supported the poets who created art as he craved. These poets in turn grouped themselves with the king and his service and thus becoming Cavalier Poets. They are also cavaliers in their style of life and they believed in the ideal of the Renaissance man who was a lover, a soldier, a gallant, a man of affairs and musician and a poet all at once. So now we have to know about the meaning of cavalier. So a cavalier was traditionally a mountain soldier or knight but when the term was applied to those who supported Charles I it was meant to portray them as roistering gallants. This term was thus meant to insult and belittle. So now we have to know about the names of the important cavalier poets. So Robert Herrick, Thomas Carew, John Suckling, Richard Lovelace who were the important cavalier poets in the court of Charles I. So now we have to know about certain characteristic features of cavalier poets. So the cavalier poets use direct and colloquial or conversational language expressive of a highly individual personality. The important themes in their poetry are the theme of honor of carp diem which means live the moment at a time. Their poetry aims to entertain rather than provoke the audience. Their poetry reflect the 17th century gay, hopeful, passionate and amorous aspect of life. So friends, these were all about the Cavalier Poets. Friends, this topic is quite important for those who are preparing for UGC NET and for those who are doing their graduation. So I hope this video will help you all. So thank you so much for watching this video and if you like this video then please turn the black thumb blue, share this video and for more videos please subscribe to my channel. And one more thing, if you want to know about any topic of English literature then please let me know through comment so that I can make a video of it. So bye bye, see you in the next session very soon.